like that. Uh, but you'll notice all of these joints that are printed in, that, are, that are white plastic have been printed by a previous 3D printer. And the idea is that um, no matter what the configuration is, what model that you're building, is that it has parts that were made from previous 3D printers. So it's like self-replicating to a degree. I mean, you still have to hook up some boards uh, and some stuff and things like that. But, uh, you know, so there's circuitry involved, but uh, they're pretty cool. They're not the prettiest machines, but they were. Can any of these things print circuitry or anything like that? Can any of these print circuitry? Um, do 3D printers exist that can do that? Yeah. Uh, not really exclusive based models. Um, yeah, there, there's all sorts of really cool 3D printing that, that happens. Um, just in general, uh, things that are resin based, you can use lasers, to uh, things that uh, uh, things that you use UV light to instantly uh, like weld plastic together um, are really common. Uh, I once worked with a printer that uh, had a plaster powder and it would spray a binder to kind of uh, bind layers together so you actually ended up with like a more sculptural type of you know, end results to your print, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, they make you know, metal 3D printing uh, which is cool. People are out there who are trying to take metal cream printing down to this type of like desktop scale, which sounds a little bit terrifying, uh, but it's pretty cool. Um, but um, yeah, there's all sorts of things that are out there. Uh, the guy, uh, some artist got a grant and he built a 3D printer that is uh, powered by the sun. Um, and uh, it melts the sand. You guys see that? I'm going to pull up the video. No, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy awesome. <laughs> Uh, so this guy got a grant to go to this, like, you know, it's not a pretty machine, um, but he, like, went out into the middle of the Sahara Desert, and uh, this whole rig has a giant focusing lens and a couple of cameras that uh, follow the sun as it marks across the sky, and it focuses it down into the secret point, and the printing material is just the sand of the desert itself. So he kind of fills up the build tray by hand. Levels it off. Uh, and then, um, by running some machine code, uh, so the lens is stationary, but the, uh, the print itself is um, the, uh, the actual uh, like a container that's holding on the sand is, uh, is going to move up the X and Y. So that focus, you know, the sun actually crystallizes the glass. Uh, and it just articulates around and so it just draws the path and then he lays another layer of sand on top of it uh, when it's done and then it 